welcome to week 10 of our Global Arts and Cultures experience. Last week, we had an opportunity to check out Paris, Le Paris, having the French experience. Many of you did a really great job in completing your assignments and took the time to explore France, which is awesome. This week, in lieu of school ending, the school year ending next week, we're gonna do something different. Thanks to a student who suggested this project, we're gonna try something different for our final exam art project. So our final exam art project will focus on you students, the students, and creating an art form, either a painting, drawing, mixed media, in response to the pandemic. Many of you had shared that you were feeling anxiety, depression, missing your parent, missing your friends, missing the school, missing teachers, unable to go outside, and there's so much happening in the news. So I say, let's use the power of art to express what you're feeling and what you're going through. Remember, you must use your imagination by creatively expressing through art how quarantine has made you feel. Any medium, either pencil, crayons, markers, pen, and more. Whatever you have at home are fine. This is your time to express your feelings and just using this as a platform to really heal as we move forward in this pandemic. Also, for students who've asked, yes, there is extra credit. If you are up to date with your assignments, you can do an extra credit project. If you miss past assignments, let's say from the first four weeks, you can do this extra credit assignment. This assignment will, equal, will be equivalent to a test grade. The extra, that extra credit assignment will be due on Sunday, the day after your project is due, May 24th. Please click, click the link here to sign up. The link looks something like this. As you can see, it's a pretty simple link, extra credit art assignment. This is where you sign up. You let me know that you're actually going to commit to do this assignment. You write your grade and homeroom. What is the title of your project? And also, is it a drawing, painting, or mixed media? Remember, your proper presentation is due on Sunday, May 24th, and be prepared to facilitate during the last week of school. That is a part of your extra credit assignment. So what should be within your proper presentation? Something clean, nice, polished, and professional. Make sure you talk about the inspiration behind your design. Also, add in a picture of your artwork. Talk about your personal experience during COVID-19. How are you coping? How are your parents coping? And how are you using art to really express what's going on for you to heal through this time? Remember, last but not least within your power of presentation, what message would you like to share through your design? This is your time. You can use this as uh, extra credit. If you, if you have an A, you wanna bump it up to A plus, you can. If you have B plus, you can bump it up to an A if you can. But this is optional for students who are looking to do some extra credit assignments. Remember, this is a PowerPoint presentation. It must be three to five slides. All right, back to our final exam. Wow, the time is almost over. This has been an amazing year working with you all, learning you all, and really rediscovering your uh, creativity and understanding who you are. We've had some amazing exhibitions, amazing artwork, really great writing as well. And we were able to travel to two different countries, that is London and Paris. So here's some examples on um, what I am looking for when you are designing your response to the pandemic. It could be drawings, markers, crayons, whatever you have. It could be a simple drawing, but it's really up to you. But please make sure while you're creating your design, there's a message there. For example, we have one artist using spray paint and having a mask covering the world. So that talks about what we're going through now. We all have to now wear a mask when we get to go outside. And then we have another drawing with watercolor where we have a doctor whose his shadow is Superman, because our essential workers matter, and they're really taking the fight as superheroes to protect us all. Last but not least, in my favorite slides, some, some of you like to draw cartoons, so why not use that as a message? 
So we have Bart Simpson, I Corona, and then we have um, Banksy. So we have some really amazing uh, examples and hopefully you will use this time to be inspired to create your designs. Well, that's it for me. For the next, for today and tomorrow, we're gonna, you, you, the students, will be using this time as your independent work time. I'm only gonna be checking in with you guys for the first 10 minutes, and then you're gonna use the rest of the 20, the remaining of the 20 minutes to really work on your designs. Be creative, talk about what's going on. Maybe you could be the person that changes the world. All right, until next time.